have a busy day today, so let's not waste any time, and let's just get right on into it. We're going to head into Best Buy, see the new releases. There are actually a couple things in there I'm looking for, and one of them may be not the thing you're thinking of, but we'll see, if they, we'll see what they have in there. Hopefully they've got what I'm looking for. Well, here's one of the things I was looking for. Hmm. And here's the other thing I was looking for. 90 bucks. These two I'm definitely getting. These two right here I'm debating. I'm debating if I really want to get these. This is 12 bucks. This is 17. Alrighty, guys, out of Best Buy, and I did end up getting the two things I came in there for, plus a little bit more. Well, it's not the same stuff that I got in there but that I had in the cart beforehand, but I'll show you what I got. So this was the thing that I found in there as I was leaving the as I was leaving to go pay for my stuff. I found an Insignia Mobile pho Photography Kit, which is something that you can use to, like, prop your phone up and, look, and make make your photos and videos look a lot better. I actually could use this, because you get a flexible tripod, you get a Bluetooth shutter remote, a directional microphone, LED visual light, three lenses, lens cap, carrying case, and a quick setup guide. This was originally, like, 80 bucks, but it was on sale for $40, but it was one of those open box things things where they take 10% off of the stuff in there. It says here there's no missing accessories, no damage, and it doesn't look like it, but this is open a little bit, but not too much, but I figure I could use this. It's a little, it's, I will say that I probably added more to what I bought with, paid more than what I bought with, with this, but with considering everything I got in here, but this is something I can actually use. But the main reason I came in there were for these two things. First up, we have Gotham the Complete Series, which came out this week. Which, they actually had more than one copy in there. Because I checked on the the uh, Best Buy website earlier in the week. And they said they only had one copy in there. But maybe they got this on Fridays or sat Saturday, just today. So, but yeah, here's all the seasons of Gotham. I actually have the first four seasons on DVD. And I think the first season on Blu-ray, so... I might get rid of the... I'm probably going to get rid of those, absolutely, but... This was 90 bucks. The DVD was going for... The DVD set was going for, like, 100 bucks. So, this actually pr proved to be a better offer than I thought it was going to be, but... I did hear that the fifth and final season does not have the digital copy code, which... Which is fine. Like I said, I don't usually use the digital copy code, so... This was a good show, by the way. Like, all... is I was really enjoying the show for much of its run. It got silly a couple of times, but... For the most part, it's an enjoyable show, and I'm glad to see that it ended on a good enough note so I could pick this up. Like I said, 90 bucks for this, which is not a bad price for this, honestly. And then lastly, and then lastly, I picked up Little, which was a movie that I wanted to see when it came out in the theaters, but, you know, Steel City Con got in the way, and then there were other things kind of keeping, preventing me from going to see the film, like... There were a couple movies that I was gonna go. I went to see instead of this one, which included like Missing Link, and then Avengers Endgame came out. And then the week I was finally gonna go and see this, they put Batman in theaters, and so I had to go. I went to see that one instead. This was one I was actually really looking forward to because I like the people that are in this movie. I like, you know, anytime you put Regina Hall in anything, it's usually pretty funny. I like Issa Rae from Insecure. Uh, Marce Martin from Blackish is also in this. I heard some mixed things about this movie. I heard it wasn't that great, but... I mean, I'll give it a shot. Like, I like these body switch movies, and you never know. Sometimes these movies can actually turn these people into big stars. Like, it worked for Tom Hanks in Big, uh, Lindsay Lohan in Freaky Friday, Jennifer Garner in 13 Going On 30, Zac Efron in 17 again, that kind of stuff. I mean, it could be good. Like, I'm really looking forward to watching this movie. I know that usually this would probably not be the big thing for most people, but I know Pet Cemetery came out in there, and... Nothing against Pet Cemetery. I'm just not a big fan of horror films. I do like horror films, but not a whole lot of them. Like only, so, like only a few select ones I know I have to have. Like, and by the way, uh, I put High Life back. I was good. I was gonna get it, but I thought, you know what? I'll wait for it to come down in price. Maybe I can get it on Black Friday for a cheaper price in a couple months. 
and then I put that Night of the Museum collection down because I was already paying a lot of money for the stuff that I bought in there. So I paid probably about 160 bucks for the whole thing. So a little pricey to start the day out, but you know what? I got mostly what most of what I wanted and then some. So it works out in the end. I had a cash and culture, and I'll show you what I picked up from there. First thing I picked is there are actually a couple of double dips because I'm actually going to go through my Blu-ray collection at some point. I'm going to double dip on some of these movies. So first up, I picked up the Dark Knight Steelbook, which I already own on Blu-ray, but I also I also bought the Dark Knight Rises Steelbook off of Amazon. I'm going to get that in a couple of days. It's a used copy from. Um, I think it's the same people that I got the Rock Criterion Collection from. So I picked that one up, and I believe this is just the two, yeah, the two Blu-ray sets. So there's that one, and then the other one I picked up was, I can get to it, G.I. Joe Retaliation 3D, which I already own on the regular Blu-ray DVD combo pack. I think this was the Target exclusive version. And this ended up being eight bucks. This ended up being six bucks because Cash and Culture has a thing where you buy two mo more than two movies, you get two or more movies, and you get two dollars off of purchases. So, and in here, you got the Blu-ray 3D feature film stuff, including the digital copy code, Blu-ray, and the DVD. So, these were the two things I was looking at last week when I was in Cash and Culture. I didn't, I didn't buy them then, but. I figure I get them now, so there you go. 14 more bucks wait, uh, paid, up, paid up today. Alright, heading into Barnes Noble right now. Take a look at some of the Criterion Collection sales. Don't know if I'm gonna buy anything today. I'm gonna hold, I don't have the uh, last 20% off coupon that I have, but you never know. I might find something in there that they just got in. We'll go ahead, we'll go inside and see what they got. Here's some big Criterion Collection box sets. Martin Scorsese's old cinema project. It'll be about, I think, 75 for this after the discount. Ingmar Bergman Collection. That's going to be about 150. Satachi the Blind Swordsman. That would be about 100. And I think this one would be about. 65, 70, I think. Same price for that. Probably not gonna get one of them, but they're kind of interesting. Looks like they did put some new stuff in because I never saw that before. Nor have I seen the Blu ray version of this one. Now they have it on DVD here, but not the Blu ray. I haven't seen this one yet. to do it. There are way too many people over there to pass these up. God damn it was busy over there. Like really, there was like, there was like four people over the Criterion section. And I was going to wait. See if I, I was going to wait to see if these were going to be there next week. I couldn't take that risk. These are brand new blue, Criterion Blu-rays they have there. So I picked up two this time. Not a whole lot, but these were brand new. I did not see these the last couple times I was over there. there so... First up, I picked up The Graduate on Criterion Blu-ray. I've seen this movie before. I rented it a couple of times from Giant Eagle when we still had a video section at our store. And yeah, this is a great movie. Dustin Hoffman and Bancroft. I don't have this movie on DVD, though. That's the thing. I've, I've been wanting to get it on DVD for, for the longest time, but I figure I'd wait until this to get the Blu-ray, and they had that. 
they did have the Criterion DVD for this, so... But this was the first time I saw this, the Blu-ray there. And then this one, I, I don't think I showed on camera, but... I got The Beatles, A Hard Day's Night, which was... Both of these, both this and The Graduate were... $20 after the Criterion sale, but at the ten, with a 10% membership, it came down to 18 bucks each, so... I picked this up. I've never seen this before. I do like The Beatles a lot. I do have... Uh, Yellow Submarine, I did see yesterday. And I figured, you know what, for tw for 18 bucks, I couldn't go wrong with this. This is actually a nice looking box set here. So, I'm glad I picked those up when I did. It was crazy over there. I didn't get to show you the, the footage of me grabbing them. I just, the video that I just showed you where I was just w walking away saying, I can't do, is I can't pass up on this opportunity. I really was afraid that somebody was going to pick up these two, but... Thankfully, they didn't, and I got to them quickly, and I got out of there quickly, too, so... And two more to the Criterion Collection, so I'm actually putting together a nice collection so far these last couple of weeks. And, I don't know, maybe if I... I say maybe I won't get one next week, but... I really wasn't gonna get these this week, but... I mean, you never know. We'll see what happens next week. Alright, so we're just about halfway through the plan that I had. We went to Best Buy to get some to get the movies that I got, wanted to get Little and Gotham the complete series. I went to Cash and Culture to get the steel books that I saw last week and I went to Barnes and Noble where I found a couple of more Criterions to purchase. Next up we're going to head over to Half Price Books and then later I'm going to go see Stuber, the new comedy with Dave Bautista and Kamal Nanjiani and then later on in the yeah. night we're going to go to St. John's Festival. Pretty sure that's not a smart idea. Not too sure if I mentioned this a couple weeks ago, but uh, they did say that they were going to reopen some Toys R Us stores. I think they said about six of them. So I don't know. I don't know if this is going to be one of those stores. I highly doubt it, but they're probably going to want to go for like the bigger cities like New York, maybe downtown Pittsburgh, possibly, or other like Los Angeles, those kind of types of places. But you never know. Like it would be interesting to see that to see that be a Toys R Us once again, though. There's still there is still a free lease sign there though, so you never know. Like you never know. Maybe some of it, maybe somebody will want will but maybe Toys Us will buy this place back. I doubt it though, but hey, stranger things have happened. Do I even want to bother going into this Ollie's right here? The last couple times I've been in here, there's not been a, is they have not had any new Obviously can't talk because of that. There we go, that's a little better. I don't even know why I'm even going in here. Maybe they just get something to drink, because I know that they have not updated the DVDs and Blu-rays in here since they opened, so... I mean, we'll go inside here and take a look. Get out of the... Get out of the sun for a little bit. And nothing once again. Thanks for nothing, Ollie's. Like, seriously, man. That does not look good at all. And none in the half price books where I'm like, all these, they actually have new stuff in here. What the fuck? What was that? What the heck? Is what the fuck? Was what the heck, man? And I just checked this on Amazon. This is like 98 bucks on Amazon right now. Yes. For what? Honestly, I might get this even though it might be overpriced, but jeez Louise, man. Either that or th I might double dip on this one because I don't have to sleep for this one. I'll keep both of them around just in case. I can't believe there's actually been four Midnight Run movies. Yeah, this pretty much sums up how it's been, how this month has been right now. It's like Christmas in July, man.
Santa has arrived early this year. He sure has. Okay, I gotta get out of here because I really feel like I'm getting away with thievery here. So like I said, this one for not this is going for a new copy for $98 on Amazon. Is I actually showed this to some people on Facebook, some friends of mine on Facebook. They told me this was going for as much as 200 bucks on eBay. Guess how much I paid for it? 11.99. To quote Durant Cinema, hot freaking chicken nuggets, man. Oh man. I mean, I, I mean, I don't get it, man. Like, why is this the one DVD that's uber expensive? Like, I just don't get it. And the set, I don't even know, I don't know if I actually own this or not, but if I don't own it, I could definitely flip this and actually get some more money for it, but even if I do own it, I don't know, man. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I have the other two ones of these, so if I have the other, there, if I have th this one, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do here. You know, but... Man, what a steal this was. As this is probably the best deal of the entire day so far. Is Is this real life right now? Alright, about to head to the movie theater to see my first Fox film under Disney, which is Stuber. Which I think there's a this is the third one I think, Breakthrough and Dark Phoenix, where I think were the first two ones. But I've not heard a lot of good things about this movie, but hopefully it actually turns out to be at least decent, or enjoyable at least. And just like the movie itself, that existed. So let's go to the last thing of the day, and that is the St. John's Family Festival and Bazaar. So just to prove to you guys that I wasn't kidding about this movie, is about this being $98.99 on the Amazon. That's for a brand new copy of this. Now there are used copies on here that are actually cheaper, but they're new. But they're used copies, so the thing's already been opened. It's already been used. But you think that's crazy? I said that there was also that this is also 200 bucks on eBay. Look at that. $199.79.95. And these other one the other two aren't that expe aren't that expensive. Like look right there. $466 for that one. And this one just tw this one's a little more expensive with $21. So yeah, I really don't know. I don't know why this one in particular is the real is the rare one and why it's going for that much money so I did pick up a lot of stuff over the week that actually came most of the, some of the stuff actually just came today as I was coming home so I'll start off with this the Avengers Endgame CD soundtrack which has the entire score by Alan Silvestri and 
this is probably one of his best scores ever. I don't think he's ever won an Academy Award before. He's been nominated for a couple of them, but this score in particular should definitely get him at least an Oscar nomination, if not a win, because the music he does for this, especially towards the end, is fantastic. Some of the best stuff I think he's ever done. And this guy's done a lot of great scores over the years. Back to the Future films, Who Framed Roger Rabbit, Forrest Gump. Just a great soundtrack. And I bought this for spe for another specific reason, which I'll get to with one of the other things I picked up this week. But also picking up this week that came on Tuesday, Broad City, the complete series. This has every season, including the last season that just aired this year. Really funny show. It was only, I think, 30 bucks for this whole set. And you get a bonus disc in here that's not included with any of the other se sets from the show. I did, ha I did have seasons 1 through 4. I'm going to get rid of those and replace it with this. So, great show. Really underrated show. I kind of want to see what these two can do outside of outside of this show. I know they did... The people who made the show actually did a movie, Rough Night, a couple years ago. Which I don't, which I don't remember being all that good, so... I mean, hopefully they can do something just as funny as this. Speaking of shows that just came to an end, next up, You're the Worst, the complete fifth season. You know, FXX, they've, ha they've had some really good shows over the years, but at the same time, after this, there's only It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia and Archer, and really nothing else. I think, they, I think most of the comedies are reverting back over to FX, but FXX still has It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia and Archer, which are still great shows. And this show was fantastic. Like, this show was incredibly funny. Like, if you haven't seen this show, definitely check it out. All the seasons are available online through the Amazon, you know, burn system, Amazon burn system. So, I highly recommend checking this show out if you haven't already. These next two came from the Disney Movie Rewards. I had some rewards, and so I double-dipped on a couple of movies, starting with The Jungle Book 3D, which I already own this movie on the regular Blu-ray DVD combo pack, but... I don't know. I've never seen this in the stores. Like, if I, even if I did, it was probably for like a week and then it was gone. So, you get the Blu-ray, you get the Blu-ray 3D, the DVD, and the digital HD. This goes for like 20 bucks on Amazon. And I think with the Disney Movie Rewards, it's like 2,000 points. So, I mean, I mean I'm basically getting it for free. So, because I've collected so many Disney movies and tickets over the years. So, that went into this, and the other part of it went into this, which is still available in stores. Star Wars The Force Awakens 3D, which I just saw at Best Buy today with for $35. I think this one was also a 2,000-point offer here. You get the Blu-ray 3D, the Blu-ray of the movie, the Special Features Blu-ray, and a DVD. And I think this has more bonus features than the regular DVD. Blu-ray version, I'm not sure, but I'm going to keep the regular Blu-ray version of this because I do have that one, and I'm going to get. The, I'm going to keep this one. So if you have Disney Movie Rewards and you want to get this for like a really cheap price, it's only like two thousand points. Definitely go there because you can because it's still available in the stores at Best Buy for like thirty-five bucks. Next up, I talked about this when I bought the Dark Knight Blu-ray Steelbook today. The Dark Knight Rises. This is a used Blu-ray, as you can kind of tell here. It actually looks worse when I open the package. I actually had to clean off the the goo and the sticker stuff off of here, and I did a pretty good job on this. You know, this movie kind of got a bad rap, sort of, but I really love this movie. I think the Christopher Nolan Batman trilogy in general has been really good overall. This one probably is the weakest of the three films, but honestly, the... It still has a lot of good stuff about it. And for me in particular, this movie does hold some memories because I was actually an extra in the scene that takes place in Heinz Field at the football stadium where Bay takes over there. And we're coming up on about the eight years since I actually was there. And if you go to my Facebook page, and surely when, I put, when the day comes on Instagram and I actually find that picture again, I'll put it up there because this movie does hold a lot of personal memories in my face is for me this was like 10 bucks and the discs themselves if i can open it up real quick I mean, the discs themselves look pretty good for the most part like i said it was a used copy it was 10 bucks and like i said like the this one was also very hard to find when this came out on when this came out so i'm glad i got this one i'm glad i got the dark night night steelbook today 
Hopefully I can find the Batman Begins steelbook some, somewhere. Maybe I'll have to get a new copy online because I think I can get it online for less than 10 bucks. So, And then lastly, I got Pinnacle Studio 22 video editing, which I tried putting this on my laptop on Wednesday and it didn't work. Like, it installed and everything, but when I wanted to click, when I wanted to actually use it for the first time, it was like, a, I got like an error message, an error 1011, and it also said that I need to be registered to use this, so I'm, I'm pro probably going to try again tomorrow to try to get this into the laptop, but this is actually the cheapest, this is actually the cheapest version of this online for like 80 bucks. I think the regular one's like 100 bucks or something like that. So tomorrow I'm going to try to put this into my laptop again. I had to do like a system restore thing where I had to like restore it to the, la to the time before I actually put this in here, which was... So, because basically I was sitting at the laptop over there for like two hours hoping to get this fit on here, and it ended up not working. I had to restore the system to before I even tried to put it in there. So I'm going to try again tomorrow on this one when I get a chance to. And those right there are some of the pickups from this week.